the Indian Space Research Organization has launched a satellite-based navigation system called NAVIC. The whole system consists of seven satellites and India provides services in a 1500 kilometer radius of the Indian border. There are many other places and many other players in the GPS domain and the IRNSS which has been named NAVIC by Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the latest entrant. But the big hassle has been that NAVIC has not been available on mobile devices. Uh, there was a shortfall in the chip but now Qualcomm, the big chip maker has stepped in and is helping the Indian Space Research Organization find a solution by giving them a chipset which gives India's NAVIC to people. I have with me Mr. Sachin Kalantri. He is a lead on in Qualcomm and in giving Indian people NAVIC on their mobile phones. Uh, Mr. Kalantri, what has been the development? So, we've been working with ISRO very closely to enable NAVIC signal decoding on our platforms. So, we have introduced a NAVIC receiver on our mobile platform for the very first time, uh, along with all other uh, location-based services receivers. So, we expect devices now to be coming and becoming available to consumers in the first half of 2020. There have been a lot of things uh, we have to do uh, working with ISRO. Essentially, it requires hardware and software changes, and that's why we had to wait for some time. But now that we are ready, as you can see in the technology demonstration, uh, where we are already decoding the signals on a mobile platform, which has been demonstrated for the first time at IMC 2019. How difficult was it to develop this chip? Because ISRO uses a specialized frequency band. So, we have been doing a lot of foundational research in the location-based services. So, we have a lot of experience from uh, commercializing uh, support for other navigation services. And we have been able to leverage that and apply those experiences and leverage the decoding uh, capability for NAVIC, basically. So, when can one expect the first handset where the NAVIC or the IRNS signal would be available on a consumer handset. So, as uh, we have announced, our chipset platforms are going to be available for OEMs uh, starting uh, end of November 2019. Typically, it takes three to six months for OEMs to come up with devices. So, uh, we, we, we are thinking that it will be available starting uh, later part of Q1 or early part of Q2 next year in 2020. The IRNSS comprises of two parts. There is one signal which is for lay users and there is a restricted signal which is meant for the strategic community. What was lacking in NAVIC was that the lay user was unable to get a signal on his mobile handset. Here you can see on the screen how the satellites can be seen along with the Galileo trans, uh, sat satellite constellation and very soon, thanks to Qualcomm, one would have Indian mobile handsets which would use NAVIC as one of the components, a very important step for India. In New Delhi, Palav Bagla.